So for this quick tutorial, I know you're saying, I always say quick, but it should be kind of quick because I'm just going to show you some things that are in Create Studio that you can use for text features. And they're already there for you. The first one is you can just very, oop, I already showed you the second one. You can just very quickly make a text in a box. And where do you find that? You go to components and here's text in a box. You're just going to click and drag it. And you can see mine looks different. And that's because you can resize it. And then if you make the text size bigger, it's going to get bigger to accommodate that. You can change the color of the box. You can change the color of the text. Did I? I don't think I hit the right button. What did I do? <laughs> text. Let's make it blue. That's an ugly combination, but um, you can change the font to whatever you want it to be. You can change it to be, if the font, if the font allows it, you can make it the capital, the lowercase or capital and lowercase. You can change the text size. You can change the text spacing. You can change, this only has one line, but you can change the line height. So if you were to add more, you can change the line height. You can change the padding for the, the sides. So you can still do everything that you can do with any kind of text that you have with this. You can have your words wrapped, you can have your ligatures. So this is just a fun way and that you can add text. I added a shadow to mine to make it stand out. You can do that. Then you're able to even animate these if you want with any kind of custom animation. For the background here, I used a gradient. So I just chose the gradient here. And if you're not familiar with gradient, I have the green to the blue just going in a um, line and I can make the green go longer or the blue take more of it. If I change the length of those, I can change the direction. So I can change and make it do what I want. I can add another color in the middle. If I click here, I can add a pink, which is kind of a purple. And again, I can move it around to however I want it to go. So this isn't about gradients, but that's one thing that if you don't know about gradients, you can do. So then there's also inter, um, an infinite scroll. That is also found in your effects and components right here. You'd also just click and drag that on here. You can see mine is already smaller. So let me show you what I did with mine. Here, you can change, again, I'm, I won't say it for every single one of it, but you can change your font, you can change your um, scale, you can change all those features of colors of the background. I have red and white, I could change this to black. I don't think that looks as good. The fun things to know about this is, like with everything else, you can do right to left if you are using um, a font for a language that is reading from right to left, you can do that. And here you can change the speed, you can make it go faster or slower. Like before, you can change the margin for what you want. You can also, in this case, it's going across as you would read typically how we see some of those, what do they call them, chions or whatever they call them at the bottom of the screen. You can change it, um, sorry, you can change it backwards if you want it to go backwards. So now it's going towards the right. You also can change it to vertical if you want it to scroll 
down. So here we can scroll, this is going to be scrolling up. So if we did it backwards, it would scroll down. So you can do a, fun, a lot of fun things with that. And again, changing all the colors and the fonts and all of those. Now, the next thing to show you is the typewriter that they have in Create Studio. It allows you to do some typing and it actually fixes any mistakes that you do. If it wasn't loud enough, it does have sound. So you can have a keyboard sound. There's a few of them. There is also a phone sound. So So if you um, are using a tech, if you're doing a text texting scene, you can use that. I actually hate people who have sound on their computer keyboards or their phone keyboards, so I turn it off. There, you can't hear it. And you can also have the volume. So if you do have the keyboard sound, you could make it louder or quieter. You also, if you notice as it's typing, this the line is blinking when it's inactive. You can turn that off or turn that on, whichever you want. Again, the color, the, t the font you want, the spacing of the words, the line height, the padding um, that I've already shown you with some of the other ones. You can have word wrap and the same options down here. So this is kind of fun. Now, what you want to know is you can reduce the speed of the typing just by clicking and dragging. So that doesn't look too bad. You can make it, it can take longer. And then you can make it whatever speed you want. I'm going to put it at the end. So how do you get this text in here? Because if I click on this, it's not working. The button to, to change the text is right here. So what I did is the first error that I made right there, I typed that. Then if I wanted to erase, I just type what I want. And it's only going to go back To what I made a mistake for. Now say I made the mistake of, um, I did that. It will go back until, until the space where the error was made. So you don't actually have to think about anything. So then you would just retype the whole thing there the welcome and everything, and it goes back to where the error was made. And then I made another error here for create. So then I just type, make sure you go back to the whole thing. So you just copy paste it like this, paste it, and then make the correction. If I want to add more, if I have another mistake, I can add more. Maybe instead of it's, I put. Now right here, it doesn't know what to do. It just stops because I need to copy and paste it. Add more. I'm going to paste it and fix it. So now. Hmm. Oh. Here's the error right here. I have to bring the delete. <laughs> it didn't know it was supposed to delete. Time it here and then it will fix it. Oop, and I made a mistake with that. So it obviously shouldn't be a quote mark, but that's a fun feature. The other one that you can have is a reveal. And this is really easy to do. So I again added a shading. I changed the color of it. 
of the text. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. You can even make it a gradient. You can do whatever you want. You can increase the size. You can increase the um, padding, the opacity, all of those same features. And here, these are the values of what they can choose. And all you do is you select it and let me put it at the beginning. Let me change this to create studio. And now you'll see it. Randomize it. And this again, as short or as long as you want the randomizer to go. You can also do it with phone numbers. So you could always have, please call 555-903. I don't know. These are fake numbers. Um, 555 is always what they use in movies. You could have that come out with that. You can do whatever you want with that. That's a fun one. And here we have a number counter. And that got off. It was supposed to come up here, but everything got moved. But that doesn't matter. Um, I was just trying to do something cute. So this, and I didn't show you because I was going through it, but here is the typewriter. The text in the box I already showed you, the infinite scroll. Here's the random reveal that we just did right here. Again, you click and drag it. And as you can see, it's a different font, it's a different color, and I just changed it for mine. And the number counter is also there, right here. So for this one, all you're going to do is you're going to say what number you wanna go from and to. I went down, you can go up. and then it will count up. You can change the scale. Whoops, I'm still on the video. You can change the easing to any of these that we have with our others. You can change the font. You can change the scale. You can change the opacity. You could change the padding. There's not so much to worry about with numbers, the vertical padding. So you can really do anything. And again, this is how you make it go faster or slower, however you want it to be. So I don't know how fast or slow or quick this was, but um, just a few things that you can find all in your studio, the components, and they're all in there for you. Have fun.